and the Singapore Heart Foundation hopes that people will use CPR or cardiopulmonary resuscitation skills to help keep people alive. And they say this song can help remember the life-saving beats. Hey, I understand that doing the CPR to the beat of the Bee Gees, staying alive helps one to get the rhythm right. So how does that work? Uh, Sing a live song has got 103 beats uh, per minute altogether and we recommend uh, 100 beats per minute for resuscitation. So for easy recall, um, Sing a live would be the ideal song to remember then. Okay, let's say you use another song like another one by, Bites the Dust by Queen. How would that work? Okay, um, hung, okay, another one Bites the Dust is perfect but unfortunately it may not be right in the right context so because we are actually pushing for lives to be saved. This is part of the new certification program launched by the Singapore Heart Foundation to equip members of the public with skills to save a life, especially when someone has a heart attack. This is because every second counts for such patients. The earlier they receive help before the paramedics arrive, the better. The purpose of CPR is to ensure that the victim of a cardiac arrest gets enough oxygen even though his or her heart might have stopped. In other words, all CPR does is to buy time. But CPR is not just about pumping to the right beat. There are also a few steps to be done before that. Before you commence CPR altogether, uh, look, look for danger uh, in the environment itself. Whether there's a, um, any danger, whether you're in the traffic light or traffic near traffic areas or whatever, shift the patient accordingly. Um, thereafter, when you see the collapsed victim, you, you tap on his shoulder and actually call him accordingly. Hello, hello, are you okay? If there's no response, Direct up to someone and said, call 995, get AED. Call ambulance 995 and get AED. After that, you adopt a head tilt chin lift position and chin, check for breathing. Okay? If there's no breathing altogether, then you commence straight on to doing a mouth to mouth to mouth breathing. Pinch your nose and blow into the victim twice. Blow. Blow. Make sure the chest rises accordingly. And thereafter, you proceed on to find the area of compression. Once you find your area compression, which is spot, straight and deliver the blows hard and fast. One and two and three and four and five and one and two and three and four and ten. One and two and three and four and fifty. One and two and three and four and twenty. And do it up to thirty. The course also teaches participants how to use the automated external defibrillator, or AED, which is needed to restart the heart. In the next video, Razor TV talks to some of the participants and I find out just how easy or difficult it is to perform CPR.